At Peakers, we believe that there are four key factors for you to work on to improve your running technique. The forward lean or body position, creating short levers at the hip and knee joints, maximizing your cadence, and understanding your foot strike and loading point. Look for a slight forward lean from the ankle joint throughout your running. It is important that this comes from the ankle and not the hip. Aim for around 90 stride cycles per minute. Taller runners at slower paces may find themselves nearer 85. Using a metronome can be a great way to train your cadence. Think of your running stride much like your cycling pedal stroke. It should be circular and not a pendulum swing. Short levers at the hip and shoulder joint allow you to move with more speed and less effort. Therefore, we look for less than 90 degree bends at the elbow joint throughout the running stride. We also look for less than 90 degree bends at the knee joint as the foot lifts towards the glutes at the back of the run stride. In a circular motion, you use all of your running muscles most efficiently. The calf pushes your leg off the ground. The hamstring lifts your heel towards your glutes, allowing the hip flexors to drive forwards. Next, the quadriceps extend the legs and the glutes pull the leg back to the ground. We are also looking for minimal vertical oscillation, meaning that the stride should take you forwards and not upwards. How and where your foot strikes the ground is unique to every runner. There is no correct way to do this, and changing how you land on the ground can quickly lead to injury. However, a simple rule can help you land and load efficiently. The aim is to load the leg muscles directly beneath your center of gravity. It is therefore possible to land on your heel, midfoot, or forefoot in front of your body, as long as there is no loading at this point. Regardless of how you strike the ground, loading in front of your center of gravity will cause a braking effect. Lean and fall. This drill is designed to help you feel how the proper body position can help your forwards motion. Simply stand with your weight on both feet and lean from the ankle joint, gradually letting yourself fall into the run. Catch yourself by taking a step forwards and repeat. High heels. The goal of this drill is to create a short lever at the knee joint by getting your hamstrings firing and pulling your heel directly up towards your glutes. Start by jogging in place and build your cadence upwards towards 90 strides per minute as you start to lift the heels upwards. From side on you will see that the lower leg is perpendicular to the ground. The heel lifts straight upwards and not out behind you. You will also notice that the knee drives slightly forwards. Once you have established the correct heel lift pattern, start to move the drill forwards. High knees. Start by jogging in place. Build your cadence up rapidly as you start to lift the knees up in front of you. Stand tall and lean from your ankle joint slightly forwards. From side on you will see that the upper leg is almost perpendicular to the ground. The heel lifts straight upwards and not out in front of you. Marching. Drive your elbows backwards to help you pull the knees up towards your chest. Drive off the ground using your calves from the heel to toe. Maintain a slight forward lean and stay tall throughout. A skips. In this dynamic form of marching, the aim is to get a rapid plyometric bounce at the ankle joint and to exaggerate the upwards drive of the knees. Use your arms to help maintain your rhythm and stay tall throughout. B skips. In this progression from the A skip, you now start to extend the leg at the knee joint and pull the leg back to the ground using the gluteal muscles. Look for a smooth rhythm, stand tall and maintain your slight forward lean.